Ryan. Hi. Um, Am I looking at you? Uh, you can look at yeah. You can look at me. That's okay, fine. great. Um, thanks for sitting down with us. Absolutely. Um, can you explain a little bit how you got into this film? Sure. Was it the normal route, agent auditioning? Absolutely not. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't have an agent. I was. Okay. I mean, I'm a real estate broker, um, and I do a television show called Million Dollar Listing New York. But I saw, I saw that you also do theater. Yeah. Do uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that was before. I mean, okay, I. Okay. So I, completely transitioned over. Yeah. I mean, I had always done theater. I was classically trained as an actor, and uh, moved to New York to do theater and to do off Broadway and Broadway and. Um, uh, you know, film and TV, and that was my goal. And did a soap opera for a little bit, and then they killed me off. And then I was like, I need money. I need to be able to survive and eat food. And uh, it was 2008, and a friend was just like, Listen, just get into real estate. Don't bartend, don't wait tables. You can rent one apartment in a day, and that'll pay your rent for the month. And then you can do whatever else you want to do, and auditions and all that, make your own hours. And so I protested and protested, and then I finally got my license, and I started uh, on the exact day that Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. And that's the wow. only reason I know that day, because everybody was, like, watching CNBC. And then I basically just put acting, you know, I, I kind of put it to the side. I was like, you know, I gave it, like, my best try. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to do as a career, um, and New York City is incredibly expensive, mm -hmm. and... I fell in love with real estate, you know, the minute I got into it. And then Million Dollar Listing basically came knocking on my door. I went to an open casting call with 3,000 other agents. And then oh, wow. they called three of us, which is crazy. And then While We're Young came about because the casting directors emailed me. And they were like, we think you would be great for this role. We'd love for you to come in and audition. And that's basically the same sort of thing. So that's what I did. And I... And I had like no intention of getting back into acting or film or anything. Super, super busy, a very big business uh, between uh, New York and LA. And I went and auditioned like in between appointments and showings and just yeah. like dressed like I am now, like yeah. in a suit and went in and did the thing and they were late. So I was just like flustered and excited, like places to go. And I was like, all right, great. You got what you wanted, deal. <laughs> and then a couple months later they called and were like, we'd love for you to meet with Ben. And I was like, Stiller? Like, yes. <laughs> And so, and now I'm here. It's totally crazy. Yeah. I gotta say, I've seen his truck. I've got to turn my airplane phone mode on. Sorry about that. Are you gonna <laughs> to fix it? No, oh, no okay. one's gonna crash. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, uh, your scene is probably one of the funniest in the film. I mean, I'm not trying to boost <clears throat> your ego or anything like that. That's that, what Carrie just said, too. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, what was filming that scene like? Because it's not necessarily that you have a lot of lines, but that you're sitting there and you're making, you know, facial expressions yeah. and stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I've had, like, five years of real estate broker ex experience to draw from where I sit across a table from people that are trying to pitch me things that make absolutely no sense. Yeah. Uh, so it was... I had researched the role very heavily. Yeah. Um, it was, well, one, it was awesome. And so that day, that was the audition scene that I auditioned with. And that day, we it took an entire day. We filmed it, I think, something like 60 times. Oh, really? Yeah. So when I watched that, I'm not like, oh, that's how I prepared it. That's my first day. And the thing, and because it was my first movie and my first scene with Zoolander, yeah. you know, I was like, I, I was like ready to go with all my choices, just like they teach you in school. And I did it that way, like the first two times. And yeah. then Noah came over and he was like, really like the choices you're making. Uh, now it's like, do it backwards. It's like, what? <laughs> He's like, now do it really, really fast. Now do it really slow. Now do it with like a really low voice and this, that. And we did it so many ways and just ran it so many different times that by the end of it, I was just, I didn't know. It, what you see on the screen is is Noah Baumbach. Like, yeah. Not really me, I think. Yeah. I mean, that guy is a genius. And then he just goes into the editing bay, and he's like the composer, and he puts the scenes together exactly how he wants them. Yeah. But, and then you were in a couple other scenes as well. So yeah. Like, my favorite scene, yeah. honestly, I know people seem to like the, the one where we're sitting at the desk, but <clears throat> my favorite scene is the one where I'm bouncing around singing about going to Afghanistan in front of them. And that scene we filmed all day long. <laughs> By the end of it, I totally lost my voice. And it, just because I, it, with the scene that makes it into the, the movie is me like just going down like this. But 
there's got to be outtakes. I hope they put them on a DVD <laughs> of me like doing jumping kangaroo circles around Ben Stiller and yeah. like doing like the wave and the robot, like everything I could come up with. And we did that like a hundred times. Yeah. So yeah, that was a fun day. How did you get along with the actors? I mean, any they're, memorable experiences? They're all the greatest people in, in the world. Yeah. Um, I mean, the most memorable experience is that Adam Driver is obsessed with real estate. That guy is like an addict. He watches like every reality show that has to do with real estate. He loves it. Him and his wife had just bought an apartment. Um, and, you know, he's a super busy guy, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and so I don't know how he even has time to watch all these things. But he, so that was fun. And for me, I mean, I, I wanted to sit there and talk to everybody like, hey, what's it like doing girls? And yeah. are you doing Zoolander too? And, did you really have to swim in all that water in the, you know, in the invincible Naomi Watts? But no, everyone just wanted to talk about real estate, right? Because I was like the resident real estate broker, <laughs> which was great. And that's what I tell my clients. We say the same thing. Are you going to just be an actor now instead of a real estate broker? I'm like, yo, I did this movie so I could meet clients. <laughs> that's a good, good attitude. Exactly. Um, can you speak a little bit? The, the film kind of touches on, you know, documentaries maybe, well, at least this, in this case, aren't always true. And you should film a reality show, and yes. as a lot of people might know, it's not always true reality. Can mm -hmm. you speak on that subject? Sure, That's, I, I didn't even realize that connection until the, I think the second time, or maybe it was the first time that we saw the movie. And then it like really clicked, because I was like, oh, wait a minute. Like Ben Stiller's character is, you know, he, he's, he's the guy that, you know, reality TV was back in the day of like the Osbournes, yeah. right? Like that I think was the last reality TV show where they literally put a camera in your face for 24 hours for six months and whatever happens, they filmed and then they made a show out of it. Now reality TV is all budgeted. Um, and it's for me anyway, I don't know what it's like to be on any other show, but yeah. for Million Dollar Listing, it's very, uh, it's, it's everything we film is real as it happens. Okay. It's just the, 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 like the, uh, the scenarios in terms of like the timeline are what changes just because they can't, there's, it would just be too expensive to follow me for 24 hours yeah. a day. Right. So it's like when I'm going to list something, I tell them, Hey, I think you should come follow this one and they come and follow that one. Yeah. And uh, that's basically how it goes. But I think that, you know, setting up situations and basically creating a documentary that, you know, people will want to watch because you're, you know, there's drama, et cetera, is very different from the way like the Osborns was filmed. Yeah. Um, and then I looked at that and then I was like, wait a minute. And then I'm like the hedge fund guy that's producing all this and I'm on a reality TV show. This is like way too meta for me. And I have been used. I've been used. He used me. I'm like the symbol of, yeah. because he's got, but look who he cast too. I mean, in the movie, you've got classic Ben Stiller, who's like, everyone feels like they, you know, they've grown up with him over the last 20 years. He's still is super young, but he's now in his forties. Adam Driver's like the next big thing just out of this TV show. So it's like perfectly yeah. set up. Yeah. I mean, Amanda Seyfried and Naomi Watts could be related. Yes. And you get Charles Grodin, of all places, where when I say Charles Grodin, you know, my parents are like, Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> where I'm like, the dad from Beethoven. Yes. Right? And that's, so that's a different generation. Yes. And you've got Ad-Rock from the Beastie Boys. Yeah, yeah. So he really, the whole movie is super calculated. He is, it, it's totally crazy. I must say, I mean, some of your humor, I can see, uh, you're very like Ryan Reynolds in your humor, so... I love Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> that at least stood out to me. Yeah. Um, what do you have? I mean, you're working on Millionaire... Uh, Millionaire this, listing, yeah. Yeah. Um, is that basically what you're going to be doing, or do you have anything else in the pipeline? I mean, I, uh, I have to sell real estate, yes. so that's my job. That's your main job. That's my main job, so I do that. I have to get back to New York so I can sell all of the real estate, <laughs> and uh, we have a lot going on on that front. Uh, we'll start shooting season five of Million Dollar Listing, I'm sure, pretty soon here. The fourth season premieres next Wednesday. Um, Haven't shot an episode of The Mysteries of Laura with Deborah Messing. Oh, wow. So that'll come out eventually, I guess, maybe in the next few months. I really don't know. Um, and that was fun. And that was great. And there's a couple other things in the works that should be pretty crazy for my 2015. So uh, awesome 2015. Yeah, I am open to <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryan, for talking to us. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs>
stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to buy the sun. Mm. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.